No intro today. We're going straight into the game. It's Slaven Blupo. We're reserve. Maybe I should have done an intro. It would have helped me get my words out. Um, we're reverting back to type. We're going four one two two one. Attack, attack, attack. This is what got us through the leagues, through the promotions. We changed to the four two four midway through last season to to utilize two attackers. I still would like to use two or three attackers. Because we have Paritin and Kligar as well, who are both really good, and Mamut. But the players know this formation. I know this formation. I've set this formation up. I know that it can work. So we're going to give it a go. And this is how we're going to line up. Hubez in goal, because both my goalkeepers have seemed to have forgotten how to be a goalkeeper. Long car right back, Skender. Skender I'm not too sure about. He's only got 79% fitness. On the bench, we don't have a centre-back. We have Koklovic who could come in, but he is hes pretty damn terrible, and he's on the transfer list. He's 34 on the transfer list. Then we have Rakoja, who is a blip down on morale. He's a youngster. I've rejected a bid for him. He's got a minimum free release clause of £2,000. We bought him in on a free transfer, and maybe I should give him a go. Maybe I should give him a go, because... That fitness isn't very good at all. We're going to take Ivan Isic off the bench. We'll bring Rakoja on for Skender. So it'll be Rakoja and Babok in the middle. Rako Rakokia. Rakokia. That might be, actually. Uh, Babok, Friars, Tomlinson. So the two English boys get a start. Tommy Spur is injured, which is why he's not around. Although he is full training tomorrow. The game is today. 95% match condition and 93% match sharpness. That suggests to me he's fit enough. A tight thigh. Tommy Spur, you can go on the bench. You can go on the bench instead of Skendar. And then if the youngster starts to mess up a bit, then we know what the problem is. So, yeah, they offer 1.8 thousand. His asking price is um, two. His minimum is 2,000. So that's what he has to be sold for. Uh, he was a bit upset. But when we said, you've got a minimum fee release clause, he said, yep, yeah, okay, if they match that, I'll go. Tomlinson, Mert, and Prince in the middle. That's a good midfield three. I'm happy with that midfield three. It should work. Kubel on the right, Mayich on the left, Simeonovic up top on his own. It wasn't really too hard of a choice to decide who's going to play up front because if we go uh, uh, to the club, I think that's the one I want to see. General? No, I want to see... Oh, man, you thought I would have thought about this already. Is it home? Home, yeah. The screen that is your homepage. Simonovic is our top goal scorer and he's our highest rated player and he's got the most player of the match awards. Now it's not hard to be the highest goal scorer or the most player of the match awards or the highest rating because they all came in one game for him. So yeah, we're desperate for a win. Slav and Blupa are up in fifth but if we beat them we actually go on the same amount of points as them. We're away from home so an attacking tactic might be a bit of an error but I feel like we need to stamp our authority on these sort of teams. The Slav and Blupos, Garisas, um I don't really know who else, to be honest. But yeah, this is a team that we should be beating. We've beaten them numerous times over the, this series. We've beaten them. I'm, I'm, I said I expected to win. May it look stressed. Brilliant. Well, there's a lot more to come from you. There's a lot more to come from you. There's a lot more to come from you. That's, that's fix things. We'll let the assistant do the uh, do that. And Prince takes the cat. I know I can rely on him to set the tone. He's he's ready and raring to go. So, yes, this sort of team: Istra, Sibinek, Garisa, the, uh, the four teams above us. I'd say are teams that we really should be beating. So, let's see how this game unfolds. Prince has a free kick, in it goes towards the back post. Rakoja, the youngster, just heads it over the bar. Goalkeeper had it covered, and uh, it's, it's a good start, decent start. Fifteen minutes in, free kick though. Halilovic. Lays it back to Lubchic. Lubchic has a shot. It's, oh, I think it took a slight deflection. I mean, what is that their first shot? I think that's their first shot. It's, how, how small is he? Anyway, Halilovic with a free kick. It came here to Lubchic on the edge. And he shoots. I think it does. It just deflects off. Is that Who's that? Longcar. Just deflects off Longcar and goes past Thubez. Come on, Demar Moore. Kamara, he's the small guy, and Hubez catches that one pretty easily. This is going to be a very tough season. Filipovic with a long ball forward. That should be easy for the defenders. Tomlinson gets ahead to it, but it's poor, and Dolsek picks it up. Back to Dakovic. Dakovic goes forward. Kuze won't get there, but Longcar will just head it back to him, which is really poor. Kuze into Halilovic again. Halilovic shoots. That's, that's rubbish. That's rubbish. Corner, Halilovic. 
Swings it in. It's all oh, Slaven Blupo, and they've got a two-goal lead. Dakovic gets the second for Slaven Blupo. Oh god damn, this is this is hard. Okay, we're not going to see that again. Half time, we're going to go for some changes. Four three three is going to come out again. I think. I think that's what's going to happen. Okay, so it is half time, and this this <laughs> is what we're changing to a four three three. Um, everybody playing a bit more common to their what they like to do. We're going a bit more direct. Uh, we don't want to play for set pieces anymore. Higher tempo, more direct. Uh, we'll keep a standard thing there. In the final third, we're going to whip the crosses in and we're going to work it into the box as well. Uh, don't need to distribute quickly. Don't really need to counter. Out of possession. Standard. Standard. And then if it doesn't work, we're going to go really in their faces. We are going to mark them tightly though. Um... And we're going to go up to positive because that's what we have to do because we're losing. So here we go. We've done the team talk. Basically, we told everybody they're really, really shit and they need to buck their ideas up. So here we go. Three subs because I bought on Tommy Spur for the young centre-back who was having a shocking game as well. So this is what we do. Thank you to all your comments on the previous episode as well. Sorry I haven't been too quick in replying to them. Um, some of them are great fun. What's happened there? The goalkeeper completely missed it and Kaligo couldn't get his head on it. Um, some of them are really good. Some of them... Why I don't want to be horrible to people that leave comments, um, I think it was John that's left a comment just saying, you need to buy better players. Well, I'm trying. It's just really, really hard. And I'm very open to ideas of what position and things like that. As Kamara flicks back out to Halilovic, Halilovic puts it across. That's a good block. It falls to Kuse and Mer intercepts well. I'm actually just going to knock this down to balance to see if that can help us a bit. Because uh, they're coming forward again. Halilovic is tackled. Kamara picks it up into Lubcic. Lubcic out to Havenjak. Havenjak into Koleg. Koleg shoots and Hubez makes the save and jumps on the rebound. Koleg comes forward, lays it back to Havenjak again into Kamara. Kamara to Lubcic. Lubcic all the way out to Goda. Their fullbacks are going to get a bit more space. Lubez makes the save and it's cleared away from the back. And uh, who's going to get there first? It's going to be Gouda. Gouda keeps it in. Goda, oh Mert, that's a shocking tackle. What are you doing that for, you idiot? It's a yellow card. Yellow card for Mert, second of the season. Free kick. Prince over the ball. Fires it in towards the back post. Spur can't get there. Filipovic makes the catch. He did come and claim it well with good authority. And we do need to get some people back here, guys. Because, no, don't worry. He's gone long. It's poor. Long car brings it down. Up it goes. Up to Peritin. I don't know why we're going long to our smallest player. But Peritin wins it back. He comes forward. What will he do? Turns into Mert. Mert. Looks for a bit of movement. Out to Simeonovic on the right-hand side. He comes in field. Lays it back to Prince. Prince out to Paritin. We're trying to work this into the box. Paritin gets a bit of space. Fires it into the top corner. It's 2-1. That is better. That is much better. Excellent. 2-1. Paritin with a lovely finish. Good build-up play. This is why I quite like work the ball into the box. Because we could have had a couple of shots there. But we waited and waited. And Paritin got to the right side came back onto his right foot and just curled it nicely into the top corner. 2-1 and we're back in the game. Hello, what's going on here? Why are we having a... He's clearly onside. Quite clearly onside. Goda with a throw into Kamara. Kamara back to Goda. Or Goda, Goda. In it goes and Friars wins the header. Lucic picks it up. Out to Hlinvac who's got a lot of space on the right hand side. Fires it across. Dolsek and Slubez has hit the post. What is that? I hate this on Football Manager. That's clearly just... Like, I don't understand. The defender wouldn't do that, would he? He wouldn't just boot it into his own net. It's absolutely ridiculous. They need to fix this. Like, there's a lot of things in this game that wind me up and have done for years. And I keep quiet about it because it's a great game and I get great enjoyment out of it. But goalkeeper, um, like, animations are terrible. It makes them look like the goalkeepers aren't really trying. And that is so irritating. Why would a defender boot it at his own net? from there. He's got enough composure about him. So that's a great run from Paritin. He's doing really well here. He shoots straight at the goalkeeper, but he's got enough composure about him to kick it away from goal. Anybody could do that. Anybody could kick it so that it goes away from goal, not into your own goal. It's ridiculous. And that's my rant. I'll probably have another one because we're 3-1 down and not playing very well. Paritin flicks it on from a corner. Kliga holds it up. Kliga comes forward with it. He's got a lot of... He's got two men in the middle. Cross it. Cross it. Cross it. He does cross it. Paritin. It's 3-2. So we are slightly back in the game. Oh, right. 3-2. I'm wondering if we really just go after him now. We need a win. We need a win because we are struggling. So we've made a slight tactical change of going to a bit more of a gegenpress to try and really put them under pressure and get the ball back. 
Doesn't matter, does it? 4-2. I mean, what is the point? What is the point? I need to change this team. I really need to change this team. And we need to come up with a winning formula pretty quickly. As... Let's not watch that again. Yes, change it. Gegenpless. Let's go. Let's try and put him under a bit of pressure. Demand more. Fryers with a throw up to Paritin. He turns, looks forward. He keeps coming forward. Goes around another tackle. Paritin's on a great run again. Shoots it straight at the goalkeeper again. Babok keeps it alive. No, he doesn't because nothing comes of that. But, I mean, Paritin's getting in the... Ch he's getting good chances. Fryers. Fryers holds it up. Goes long over the top. Paritin turns on the ball. Will he pass? Will he shoot at the goalkeeper? He's hit the post this time. I mean, we've created enough chances. We've created enough chances to make this 5-2. A 5-4, sorry, to us. But we're just not putting them away. Filipovic goal kick goes long. Fryers will bring that down nicely. And does. Fryers over the top again for Paritin. He's got the pace to get in behind. There's men in the middle. He squares it. Simeonovic. Oh, my God. Do you just get a feeling like this game is setting me up for the sack? I mean, how many chances is that that we've just missed in a row? That is ridiculous. Ah, oh, right. I can after this. I can tactically set something up here to get the best out of this because we've got the players. We can do this, and that's full time. So a four-two loss to Slaven Bupo, which means the Slaven Bupo role is going to be tough to follow. Um. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with that. I can't say anything else. I'm not happy. We lost 4-2 to a team that we can easily beat. Oh, up next, Lokomotiva in seven days. I mean, look, they strike it lucky. 15 shots each. We had more possession. I mean, can we have a deeper look at the match stats? That would be quite helpful so that I can just see. Uh, clear cut We had three clear-cut chances and we had two half chances and we only scored two goals. That is... Oh, some, sometimes this game, this game, I swear, sometimes. Right, we'll be back for the next game against Lokomotiva. Okay, we're back for the game against Lokomotiva. We're back at home and I'm feeling positive because if you can't feel positive playing a football game, a computer game that you enjoy, what's the point? So, Hrubez in goal, Longcar, Skender, Babok and Fries at the back, Mert, Tomlinson and Prince in the middle, Kriga, Peritin and Simonovic in what should be a deadly front three at this level. We're playing Gegenpless and we're going to put them right under pressure from the off of the game. They've conceded most of their goals this season already in the first 15 minutes of game. So we're going to go out there and try and capitalise on any nervousness they might have. If it doesn't work, then we can drop back into a bit more of a controlled possession tactic. Periton is playing as a false nine and we have two advanced forwards either side of him to run the channels. Tomlinson, ball winning midfielder, Merton Prince, centre midfielders on support. Right, let, we've just got to go out there and bloody win a game let's give the fans something to cheer because they haven't been cheering very much recently have they so assertively there's a lot more to come assertively there's a lot more to come let the assistant do that again right into the tunnel it's brilliant it's any team with me he's very good so uh finish three five okay um we have a good chance of getting the result right we're off the bottom because well, we're playing before Istra, and this is already giving us a draw because it's nil-nil at the moment. But let's get in their faces. Get in his face. Get in his face. That's it. Well done, Zeki Friars. I think I've realised why we've started the season so badly. I think the amount of people that I released from the team last year was quite a lot that had to do with the team bonding. So our team bonding has gone from really, really good at the end of last year to right smack in the middle and... The players don't know each other enough. So we're working a lot of team bonding in training. A lot of extra sessions on team bonding. Mertz intercepted it really well. He's tackled, but it's going to fall to Simeonovic. Oh, his shot's blocked. And that's a good clearance. This is better. The first 15 minutes are up. So do I change it? I mean, we've been all over them. So I think I'll keep it as it is for now. But they have a free kick. Their first shot on target has gone in, obviously, because we're Zagreb and that's what happens to us. That is literally their first shot at goal. It's not, not even on target. It's their first shot in the whole game. It's his first ever goal for Lokomotiva. He's put in a perfect free kick off the underside of the bar. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Look at this. 1-1, one, 37% one, possession. I'll just do it again, mate. Why not? Go on. Barisic is here. Barisic is tackled well by Mert, who gets onto the ball. Now, what will he do? Goes up the line to Prince. Prince comes forward with it. He's got men ahead of him and men to the right of him. He goes long, looking in the middle. Krieger! That's a fantastic finish. Left-footed volley from Krieger, 34 minutes in. Oh, 
Thank God, because I can't believe we conceded that. Mert a little outside of the boot, up ball up the line. Prince with his left foot swings in across, and uh, it just re Krieger right on the penalty spot. That's a lovely finish. One one. I can't believe that we went one nil down with one shot on target. Ridiculous. Dawley with a corner, and it comes Kalimov's there. Oh great, two shots on target, two goals. So brilliant. I mean, what can you do about that? What can you do when they have two shots, two on target, and both of them go in? It's just ridiculous. It's a, it's a decent corner. I mean, is that long car? Tomlinson gets jump, out jumped at the back post. Shocking. This is the closest you're ever going to see me get to some sort of rage against the computer game as well. Because I'm normally quite composed and calm. Yeah, raging doesn't happen very, very often, but it's definitely happening today. Into half time then, and it's just it's just shit, isn't it? I expect to see a much better showing. Um, I think we can't go gig and press because the players are just going to die. They're just going to get knackered. No, Simonovic is going to come off and be replaced by Mamu. Oh no, are you? Are you? I don't think you are. Yeah, you are. You're going to be replaced by Mamu as a target man on support. Pariti up front as an advance forward. Krieger. As an attacking midfielder on attack, can't really afford to do Gag and Press anymore. Maybe. Do we try and just keep the ball? Do we try and keep the ball? It's higher line. I mean, I've tried playing lines all over the place, and I mean, let's try. Let's try it. We've got we've got possession of it anyway, so let's see what happens when we mix this up into a four-three-one-two now. So. What's this? Our one billionth formation of the season already so far. As Longcar comes forward, ball in, looking for Mamut, but Prince keeps it alive into Krieger. Krieger turns, goes around to the left. Good tackle from the defender. Friars will pick that up. Friars looks to put a cross in, but it's gone off for a throw, and it's just. I'm really trying here. Prince, ball in. Peritin heads it back across. Barisic gets it away. Peritin will pick this up and have a lot of time to hopefully pick out a decent cross, but with short possession. Uh, short passing and possession based football. We should be moving it around a bit like this. Mert. Ball across. Mamut with a big header. Oh, what a save. Parit's in on the rebound. What a save again. Why can't my goalkeepers do that? He's made three saves in a row. So we've had more shots in that one attack than they've had in the whole game. And they, they're winning. Grrr. Free kick. Mert hits the wall. Mert gets the rebound. He's tackled. So now they'll probably come and score again on the counter attack. He's just... Why did he just... Kick that out for a throw. That's weird. 6.6. .6, Peritin not playing the best. And Skender on a 6.5. Longcar on a 6.4. Right. Nemanchic is going to come on for Longcar. And we're going to put you back to a fullback on support. Friars, you're going to become a fullback on support as well. Do I do... Um, I could put Krieger back up front and bring Mihakovic or Wameic on into that advanced playmaker role. We give Peritin a little bit longer. We give him a little bit longer. Play. Mert with a free kick. Shoots. He's, well, that, that hit the bar. Unless he just sort of used the force to teleport it into his hands. This is ridiculous. We've absolutely battered them. Absolutely battered them. Throw in. Nemanchic up the line to Mert. Brings it down with a weird touch. Tomlinson up to Krieger. Krieger turns. He runs and he's tackled because he's not very good at dribbling. But he makes a great tackle. That's what we like to see. Tomlinson picks it up into Mert. Mert has the ball into Krieger. Krieger turns, lays it out to Peritin. He controls it well. Peritin lays it back to Krieger. Krieger! He d oh, they're just getting men in the way at the most irritating times. Mert makes a good tackle. Back to Tomlinson. Tomlinson to Skender. And Skender doesn't do anything with it. 20 minutes to go. Let's go for it. So Peritin is going to come off to be replaced by Mayich in the middle, um, who's actually a winger, isn't he? That's annoying. Uh, how good is Bektasi at playing in there? Not very good. It does have a good first touch, good anticipation. I'll tell you what, Bektasi was once the club captain. He's going to come on and do the role. Come on, lad. Do it for the club you love, Bektasi. Do it for the club you love. 15 minutes to go. Dawley over the free kick, takes it short to Drozdzek. He's tackled well by Prince. Can we launch a counter? Prince comes forward, up to Krieger. Krieger goes out to the left to Mert. Mert just put a good cross in that we can win. Mert swings it in. It's not a good cross. Tomlinson brings it down. Has a go. That's blocked as well. Prince tries to keep it alive and it's headed away. 
Oh, oh, great tackle. Nemanchic can't turn and do anything with the ball, but... Oh, we're playing well. This is a game where we've played well and we've just conceded two really shit goals. Bektasi shoots into the wall. Mert, go and get the ball then. Mert, back to Bektasi. Bektasi's absolutely destroyed with that tackle. Four minutes to go. Oh, well, we're not going anywhere. I know I've got it on control possession, but this is ridiculous. We need to go forwards. It's too late. Changes won't come into effect now anyway. Nemanjic finally goes long, but that's it. Oh, man. This is hard. This is hard work. I don't think I've ever had a season which has started so poorly on football manager i honestly don't think i've ever had a season which has started this poorly well we're gonna we i said we're doing every single game until we get a win look at this 5-1-6-0-2-2-4-2-2-1 that is so annoying because we've outplayed them massively we've played so much better right well we'll leave it there and i guess next time we'll be back i'll have a new formation to try something new something Something's got to work, innit? Something's got to work. Well, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you're not as depressed as I am after that episode. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.